Hey there, I'm Sarah Henson. I'm an email copywriter and strategist, and I'm a self-confessed tech geek, which means I help you understand the tech behind your email systems to get the best out of them. So in this video, I am going to show you how to create and use segments in ConvertKit. Now on my website, I actually have an article about how to use segments in general, which is more to do with the strategy of how you might want to segment your customer list or your subscriber list. However, this video is all to do with how to actually implement that into ConvertKit once you know how you want to segment your email subscribers. I just want to tell you that this comes in two phases. First of all, I'm going to show you how to create tags, which we're going to base our segments on, and then how to create your segments so that you can then use those for when you're emailing your list. So first of all, in your ConvertKit dashboard, I want you to scroll down and this is where we see segments here and tags. And these are the two places that we're going to be using for this uh, particular video. So I'm going to just create a couple of tags just to show you how that works. So I'm going to create this bucket. I'm going to call it test. And then I'm going to create another tag called customers. And you'll see why I'm going to do this shortly. Okay, so that's easy peasy. That's how you create a tag. Now, what you're going to do with that is how are you going to create some automations of how your subscribers get tagged with those tags. So we can do it in a couple of ways. We can actually ask your audience to self-select their interests or their buckets is what I call if they fall into like a certain location or what they do or something like that you can actually ask them to self-select their tag so i'm going to show you how i've set up a self-selection tagging system with an automated email in my welcome sequence so this is my fourth email in my welcome sequence and you can see here i'm asking people to self-select who they are now as an e-commerce store owner you might be asking them what are they interested in hearing from you about products about let's say for example you're a beauty company products about hair products about skincare or products about um physical wellness or something like that so for mine i'm an e-commerce store owner what you do is uh, highlight the text that you want the selection to be press the link button button edit link and then what you do is put in a URL link here for where you want your people to go once they've clicked your link. Click the open link in a new tab. Make sure that's checked so that they can always go back to the email easily. And then you click this button and this box opens up for you to add in whichever bucket or tag you wanna use. Like I've just added that test one that I created earlier. Okay, and then I'll press edit. Now, this URL is actually a page on my website where once they click, they go to this page and it says, thanks for clicking that link, you rock. I've got my little branded GIF there, or GIF, however you say it. And then there's some information about the latest blogs on my website. Now, of course, depending on what your products are, if you, for example, the, uh, what I suggested earlier about, let's say I'm interested in hair products, your link could go through to your hair products, your um, hair product category page. So you could choose that as your URL link, okay? Okay, so that's step one. You're specifically asking your audience to do that. The other way to do it is actually create those um, tags by how people behave within the content that you send them. So. It could either be an email like this that you send out, maybe linking to a blog post about something. And you could, if they open that link because they are interested in it, you can then tag them with that particular interest. Um, another way of doing it is if you have some opt-ins on your website specifically to do with certain product category categories, or like for mine, I have my blog posts are either copy, email, or tech. So if I have someone that opts into uh, a free PDF about emails, so if people opt in for something to do with emails, I can then select that if someone opts in through this form, they get tagged with an interest in email. So I'll just show you how that works. What we do is go to automations. We then go to rules in the top here and we create a rule 
depending on whether someone subscribes to a form, let's say my landing page copy checklist, which is on one of my blog pages. If someone opts into that, I know that they're interested in copywriting. So I'm going to add a tag that is interest copy. And then I save the rule. And then that automatically adds a tag to the subscriber based on their uh, behavior, interests, or things like that. So that's how you create tags, either by asking your audience or automatically attributing the tags to a behavior that they take. Now, the second phase of this is how do we use those tags to create segments? So let's go back to the dashboard. We'll see here, this is our segments. At the moment, uh, you will see that I've got a segment of who's in the EU. So I know that 45 subscribers are in the EU. I've got a segment here that is non-consent EU, meaning people who are in the EU but have not consented to the GDPR rules and settings. And then I've got my main list. So when I send my emails, I know that if I select main list, the way that that's set up, let's have a look at that. Let's just press edit you'll see that's all subscribers but matching none of the non-consent eu so anyone who's in the eu who hasn't agreed to the gdpr consensual email receiving <laughs> then um that takes out those people for me so that's how we create segments by choosing uh, specific filters. So you'll see also I'm going to create a segment that is customers only. So let's put customer only. And what I would do is they're subscribed to a tag. And what did we put? Well, I created a customers only thing. So how you would do it um, in phase one is attribute the tag customers for anyone who may purchase something within your shopping cart or however you have set up your purchasing payments system. Um, mine is currently with lead pages. So if someone came through um, lead pages purchasing one of my PDFs, they get sent through to a landing form and then I've created a rule that if they someone someone's details comes through into the landing form then they get tagged with a customer tag like that and then we do that and then next time we send a broadcast email and we want to just send it to customers only we would click segments oops within the segment customer only and add that and then we know that that broadcast is only going to your customers and that's how you set up that segment so hopefully this gives you an idea of how you can create a variety of different filters within segments and how to tag your customers and subscribers depending on their behaviors whether that's outright asking them for them to choose and self-select or by um, secretly kind of stalking them by attributing tags depending on what behavior they take. If you have any questions about that, I'm more than happy to um, answer that. You can leave a comment in this video or you can send me an email, hello at sarahhenson.co.uk if there's anything that, may, that you're unclear of that I could help you with. If you are interested in hearing more tips, tricks, and hacks to do with your emails and copywriting and tech, then be sure to click subscribe on my channel and press the bell to be notified of other videos. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for stopping by.